Alright, uh, this isn't really a fishing related video, but uh, I have done a lot of uh, reviews and less expensive items in the past and review uh, on that. And I just got this in the mail. It's a very unusual looking package. Uh, actually came from India. So, you go ahead and open it up. And, well, I mean, if you've already read the title, I'm sure you know it's a watch. So, uh, these are, they're just, they're packaged very awkwardly, very hard to open because they're covered in tape everywhere. And they're usually full of, uh, packing peanut things that are, just make a mess everywhere. I'm just gonna throw all the trash on the floor. Okay, this one's not, doesn't have all the messy stuff, it's bubble wrap, so I got a good seller this time. Anyway, uh, if you're really into watches, like I am, you can get fine, decent watches and, and taped together. Uh, you can get good, decent watches pretty cheap if you know what to look for. Uh, there's the uh, product listing receipt. I only paid, see, I paid $15. $15 for this watch, which is actually a little on the high end for what I usually do, especially for these watches. But I mean, uh, they're getting, people are figuring it out, so it's gaining popularity. Uh, there we go. It's kind of a, it's a smaller one because it's an older vintage watch. So, I mean, they're not like the, the big modern ones. You can see the difference in size there. But this is a genuine, it looks pretty genuine. I'm looking at it right now. Very, very good looking back, back side on there. It's an automatic. The band is clearly a new modern replacement, 20 millimeters. Uh, pretty clean. It looks pretty nice. Uh, Give it a couple. Sounds like the uh, the wheel in there is a little little rough, a little sticky. Can you wind it? Some of them you can't wind, but it is running now, so I think this one you can actually wind. Where's the focus on it? See there, the second hand is moving, so it is winding. Uh, it's got the date and the day of the week, but uh, that's something you, like, when I tap it, I can hear it spinning in there. The automatic, they've got this, it looks like an anchor for a boat anchor, and it spins around and keeps it wound up. And I can, I, it doesn't move very much when I shake it, so that's kind of concerning me a little bit, but I mean, I paid $15 for it, so that wasn't terrible. It's got the serial number on it, it's a Seiko. But when I bump it, you can hear that wheel start spinning. And it is running. Uh, I'll set the time later. But yeah, I mean, you can get nice, decent watches pretty cheap. Now, the thing to understand about these is when you get them off of eBay, or I think there's some on Amazon too, but I think the price is a little higher up on Amazon, but they're, they're all over eBay. The sellers look kind of shady, but if you know what to look for, you'll do all right. Uh, now these are, almost all of them are probably guaranteed 100% going to be cobbler watches, which if you don't know what that is, it's also known as a Frankenstein watch. And it's not a fake or a counterfeit, but it's not exactly original. And what it is is especially in India that's why they all come from India because watches in the 70s and 80s in India were just such a huge industry that there's millions and millions and millions of watches there that nobody's wearing and uh, there's watchmakers and repair guys everywhere so what they do is they get all their spare parts and they build a watch out of it so it's all genuine parts but it wasn't made Maybe it was made in a factory and it's just been repaired a bunch of times and all the parts have been replaced, but it's not 100% original anymore. They're original parts, just made into a new watch. So that's why they're called Frankenstein watches. Like you take all the pieces from different watches and build one with it. Or uh, 
if you remember the Johnny Cash song, uh, One Piece at a Time, where he build, he's working in a car factory and he builds himself a Cadillac one part at a time by stealing them. It's kind of the same thing. So it's a, it's a real watch. It's a real Seiko. Not worth anything. You're not going to be able to resell it if you're buying them. There's no resale value on them. You couldn't pawn it or something like that. So there's no money to be made. But if you're into watches and you like stuff, like I like this thing. It's really small. It's a little smaller than I expected it to be. But it's clean. It's nice. And I'm probably going to wear this to work with my suit every day. So there we go. If you know what to look for, you can find, find really good deals.